a female cop gets owned by a guy and overreacts. This is Rudy, a colored YouTuber and barber from the United States. One day, he uploaded a very strange video claiming he very nearly died at a police traffic stop, which raised concerns for his safety among his fans. Rudy Ornelas, the owner of a barbershop, get pulled over by two officers, Officer Michael Bowman and Officer Sarah Stomberg, for two alleged traffic infractions, tinted windows that are too dark and not having a front license plate. The situation quickly escalated after he informed the police that he had a fix-it ticket for the window and front license plate. According to Ornelas, a gun was pointed at his head, and the police conducted an illegal search. He decided to post the video now because he won the case recently and wanted to share the message with his YouTube audience. Sacramento police confirmed the incident but didn't provide comments, stating it's a personnel matter. Ornelas explains in the video that the incident occurred in November 2018, and he won the case in August 2019, which is why he's sharing the viral video now. During the exchange, the officers asked Ornelas about a fix-it ticket for the window tint and front plate. He acknowledged having one but couldn't recall the due date. Ornelas then mentioned his license being in his backpack in the trunk, along with a registered firearm in his name. Former Sacramento County Sheriff John McGinnis reviewed the video and stated that the police conducted the traffic stop according to the book, following the law. As one officer went to the back of the car, a female officer expressed discomfort being alone during the search. In response, the other officer asked Ornelas to unbuckle his seatbelt and exit the car. The situation escalated as Ornelas asked for the reason behind the stop and refused to exit the car until a supervisor was called. The female officer then stepped back and pointed her gun at Ornelas' head while he argued with her partner. According to former Sheriff McGinnis, the officers had the legal right to point the gun in such circumstances. But before we say anything about McGinnis's claim, let's take a look at the video. Hey, what's up, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Good. Hey, um, I'm stopping you because you got no front plate and your window tint's too dark. Uh, I actually got to fix a ticket for this one. Did you? Uh, it was two weeks ago. I got stopped on Arden right there by Hostess. Can you roll down Bacon that window Factory. for my partner, please? Uh, <laughs> Thank you. So you got a, you got a ticket for the, the tent already? Yeah. Okay. And I did. Hard. I did. Hey, how you doing? Uh, all the way down. Do I got to? Because I just told you to. No, I'm saying I got it right. I count that up. For my safety? And for my safety down. also. Okay. This is all being audio recorded, by the way, too. Okay, that's fine. Right yeah. here, too. Okay. When Rudy was pulled over, the male officer promptly explained the reason for the stop, and Rudy mentioned that he had already received a ticket for the issue and would address it. However, during their conversation, the female officer demanded that he roll down the window and became aggressive with him right away. No ten. I got a uh, fixed ticket for that too, also. And the front plate. And which is not due until uh, I don't know. I got to take that down. So. Okay. All right. Yeah. You need a driver's license and search. Uh, yeah, it's in my backpack in the back. Okay. Here, I'll just take your name for a second. All right. What's your name, sir? Uh, Rudy. R-U-D-Y. What is it? R-U-D-Y. R-U-D-Y. Uh. And what's your birthday? 614. 95. Uh, just to make sure I got the last name. Go over. All right, you have a valid driver's license. Yeah. Everything, insurance, good, registered. Okay. All that, so. Probation, parole, anything like nah, that? Nothing? Yeah. Okay. You can get the registered owner of the car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sit tight for me, okay? I'll be right back. Right. After providing the information the male police officer asked for, Rudy turned to the female officer who was being aggressive and tried to engage her in small talk. So you said for your safety? Yeah, for my safety. Yeah. And I want you to keep your hands in, my, in your lap for my safety, okay? Yeah, no problem. I'm yeah, sorry? I said no problem. Feels like I'm back in Nazi Germany or something. The way you people get treated like this, you know? You know your history? I do. So you understand what I'm saying? No, I don't. You don't understand don't. Nazi Germany? I don't see the correlation. Okay. We were hailed by a citizen regarding your car. Why would a citizen have hailed us? For my car? Yeah. Uh, I mean, whatever y'all got going on, you feel me? I don't know nothing about that. Rudy made a joke about her behavior, saying it felt like Nazi Germany because of her aggressiveness. The female cop didn't like the joke, and she said she didn't see the connection. About that. We were doing something completely else, and oh. somebody took time out of their day to come over and flag us down regarding you. Why Reg you regarding me? Regarding you and your vehicle. No, that's that's false. Any weapons in the vehicle? Uh, yeah. What kind of weapons? This is a registered firearm in my name. Okay. Yeah, Smith & Weston. This is also, you know, got the business under my name too, so. Okay. Just go ahead and keep your hands on the steering wheel. Yeah. Person right here? 
No. The female officer asked if there were any weapons in the car, and Rudy replied that he had a registered firearm in his name in the car. This made the female cop nervous, and while being nervous out of the blue, she asked if he knew a random person who was walking nearby. It's in the trunk. It's in the trunk? Yeah. Okay. You good with him for a second? Can I talk to you for one second? Just keep your hands on the wheel, okay? It was at this point that the female officer became uncomfortable around him. Yeah. Just because you got a firearm in the car? Okay, we're just going to do this the safe way? Okay. So. What I need you to do, can you undo your seatbelt for me? Uh, can I call the supervisor, please? What? I would like your well, supervisor. No, you can talk to him afterwards. Sir, I would like your supervisor. Okay, we're we're going to talk to him afterwards. Right? I, I you need, need to do what well, I Can you call him on your radio? Huh? Can you call him on your radio? He's hey. not trying to call hey. his supervisor on the radio. This, I'm just, we're, we're okay, I'm, to... I'm a citizen too, bro. Okay. It's like, hey. and, you, and you work for public and safety. You, you're doing your hey. job. What, what's your what's hey. your cause? Hey. Of, what's your calm, cause? Calm down, calm down. What's your cause of stopping me? Is what I want to know. You didn't even give me a cause. You said I, for your tent. I told you I got that's a ticket. That's probable cause to pull you over, right? Okay. Just because you. Whoa, oh, okay. whoa. That's way. Up. Whoa. Are you and serious? Put your fingers on the back of your head. Got code three cover. Whoa. Okay. Undo your seatbelt with your right hand. Oh We're wow. Not play this game, sir. Hey, it's all good. I don't know. It's all Can good. You towards the seat. Wait, this way? Right, sorry, towards the steering wheel. Now, this is where things escalated. After Rudy questioned why they wouldn't let him go and requested a supervisor, the female officer lost her temper and quickly pulled out her gun, making a big fuss over nothing. The presence of a weapon in the vehicle, as long as it is disclosed and transported correctly, is not a violation of the law. Having a gun in your vehicle does not by itself give an officer probable cause to search your vehicle. Rudy later, in a video, revealed that he filed the lawsuit, but there's no information whether he won it or not. The next case is from an auditor who was randomly recording until a Karen decided to call the police on him for illegally recording her. Shortly after the police arrived. Hello? How you doing, sir? I'm great. I mean, you got all the rights to record. I'm just, what, she wants well, to know why. Let, let them know that. All right. Okay. I already know. Okay. She don't. All right, why are you recording though? I, mean, I, I don't need to answer those types of questions. I mean, it is a business. They would just like to know why. You're I don't need to answer those types of questions. You know that. 441, what's your story? Explain to her what you just tried to tell me. I, I already know. When the police arrived, the female officer understood that the person had the right to record, but she wanted to know the reason behind it. It appeared that she wasn't very concerned about the situation and tried to explain to the Karen that recording was allowed. Earlier, the random citizen jokingly mentioned having a few warrants, which caught the attention of the female police officer and she became curious about the situation. Meanwhile, the female officer called for backup, but the person recording assured her that he didn't have any warrants and that he was just messing with the other person. She wanted to get his name, but he confidently asserted his rights and refused to provide it. This case was handled perfectly by the officer who arrived after. Can't say the same for the female police officer who got owned. If you wanna watch more of these videos, please subscribe to the channel.